It's time now for your evening edition for this Wednesday, April 10th, 2024. I'm DeAndre Hamilton, joined by Rashid Esson. We have the news that matters most, a magnetic media production. TCI Informal Settlements Unit frequently asks questions. How do I know if my land papers are legitimate and registered correctly? If you have no documentation showing your title to the land, or you have documentation that has not been registered with the land registry, you are considered to be squatting. In either of these instances, you will receive a notice from the Crown Land Unit informing you of your status as a squatter. If you have documentation showing your title to the land, you are urged to contact the land registry should you receive such a notice. For more information, call the Informal Settlements Unit 344-0478 or visit their website www.isutci.com and follow on social media at ISUTCI. Water and sewerage, telecommunications, electricity, and fuel, all are necessary utilities for life and living in the Turks and Caicos, and all are currently monitored by separate ordinances. The government is planning to amend those ordinances to turn regulatory power over to a commission that will be established under the multi-sector utility regulator policy. The EUD, or Energy and Utilities Department's Commissioner, Delano Arthur, today explained the consultation process which begins in earnest tonight. The Energy and Utilities Department has begun its consultation period as instructed by the Cabinet of the Turks and Caicos Islands to begin consultation on the draft multi-sector policy. This multi-sector policy will pave the way for a statutory body in that of a multi-sector regulatory agency that will be responsible for the governing and the regulation of all utilities within the Turks and Caicos Islands. This would include telecommunications, energy, water and sewage, oil and gas to be regulated all under one umbrella. According to the draft policy, which is cabinet approved and has been made public, the aim is for the agency to work independent of the government and work under principles including affordability, reliability, economic competitiveness and environmental sustainability, ensuring high service standards for residents. So we're inviting everyone to come out because we want to hear from you. We want to ensure that your voice is heard. This is a significant milestone in our country's development. This is a significant milestone in the forward advancement of regulations within these countries, and we want to get it right. And in order to get it right, we need to hear from you. That meeting tonight at the Palms Resort from 6 to 9 p.m. is expected to facilitate members of the medical, legal, media, electrical, contractors, tourism, Christian, and commercial sectors. Tomorrow, it's the general public's turn from 6 to 9 p.m. also at the Palms Resort. A new UK bill will finally right hundreds of wrongful convictions after almost 1,000 British sub-postal workers were prosecuted for stealing money when a computer system incorrectly declared funds missing. The UK Criminal Cases Review Commission in a January 2024 report described the cases as the biggest single series of wrongful convictions in British legal history. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak announced the bill, the Post Office Horizon System Offences Bill, in Late March, it will allow those who are eligible to be automatically exonerated and a new scheme to provide financial compensation is to be created. Magnetic Media News is online anytime. Log on to the website, magneticmediatv.com. Rashid Esson has regional stories on the other side of the break. National consultation begins this week on the establishment of an independent utilities regulator for the Turks and Caicos Islands, and the process needs you. The public is invited to its special session on Thursday, April 11th, with meeting from 6 to 9 p.m. It's being held at the Palms Resort. There is also a business sector meeting on Wednesday, April 10th, from 6 to 9 p.m., also at the Palms Resort. Refreshments will be served. The energy and utilities. Utilities Department of the TCI invites you to learn about the policy and join in the consultation. It's now time for your regional top stories. I'm Rashid Essen. Reports say there's an outbreak of yellow fever in the Caribbean, according to the Department of Health and official government advice website Travel Health Pro, and travelers are being warned to be vigilant. The authorities say the outbreak is also in parts of Africa and Central and South America. Guyana and Peru so far have seen two cases. 
Brazil reports the disease is in monkeys, an indication that it is spreading across the country. In South America, between January 1 and March 18, 2024, there have been seven confirmed cases, four fatal. Additionally, Colombia has seen three cases. Yellow fever is spread by mosquitoes and can cause potentially fatal hemorrhagic illness. Fortunately, it can be prevented with vaccination, and so the World Health Organization is advising people ages 9 months and older traveling to the affected areas to get vaccinated. Trinidad was left in shock and sorrow with the beheading of a four-year-old girl reportedly by her stepfather early Tuesday, April 9, at her home in Aruca, a town in the east-west corridor of Trinidad and Tobago. The police informed that when they arrived on the scene, the head of the little girl, identified as Amara Lalit, was in one room and her body in another. Magnetic Media is your news leader. For the news that matters most, we've got it here. After 12 weeks of exercising, 5Ks and 10Ks and SoCo workout sessions, Let's Move Turks and Caicos 2024 is coming to a close. That's right, it's week number 12. Instructors Terry and Lauren are hosting a special workout at the National Stadium today, Wednesday at 6 p.m. Then this Saturday at the National Stadium, there will be an island run grand finale to close out the 12 weeks of amazing exercise and fitness programs. It begins at 5.30 a.m. M, April 13th, and you can sign up right now. TCI World and Regional Top Stories comes to a close too. Thank you for joining us on behalf of Rashid Essam and myself, DeAndre Hamilton. Have a good evening.